Hello everyone, Nora the Lekker Queen here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel where we discuss all things indoor plants. Today we will be transferring some plants. Um, I've got a plant like this one, that's a silver cloud. We'll be transferring these plants from soil to a nutrient solution. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What did I say? From soil to a nutrient solution. So normally I transfer a plant from soil directly to Lekka, but today we'll not be doing that. We'll be transferring a plant from soil to a nutrient solution. Now, why do I do this? I actually call this method the long method. And so instead of getting a plant, getting all the soil off and putting it straight into Lekka, I put the plant into a nutrient solution and I make a nutrient made out of Growth Technology Clonex Clone Solution. You guys will know all about this one. And I also add another Growth Technology product. This one is called Root Zone. And that just helps, it's, it's an organic product. One of probably the only organic product they have. I think, I could be wrong, but I very much think so. And this promotes healthy roots. So as you know, those first few weeks when you move a plant from soil to Lekka or to any other medium. It's really, it's a really, really touch and go period because you want those roots to establish. You want those roots to do what roots do. So that helps and that helps. So I make a solution up and I put the plant in that. Why do I do this and what plants do I do this for? Look, it's, I just, sometimes you just have a feeling for the plant. When I look at a plant, I just think, this plant probably might not do very well living in Lekka immediately, or if maybe a plant has got lots and lots of roots, and I feel that most of the roots are going to die off when I put them in Lekka, um, those are the plants I sort of put into a solution first before I put them straight into Lekka. I'll give you an example of when I do this. Some of you might remember this plant that I'm now calling a Hawaiian porthos. It looks quite different from my golden ivy and I've been reliably informed that this is a Hawaiian porthos. So we'll call it a Hawaiian porthos for these purposes. I got this Hawaiian porthos a few weeks ago and I'm wanting to put it up on a pole. So instead of putting it straight into Lekka, I put it into a solution. So it's been living in this Growth Technology Clonex Clone and Root Zone Mix solution. And I made cuttings as well because I want my pole to be lush. So this is the plant. So I'll show you, hang on. So this is, this is some of the cuttings actually. And some of these were actually original roots, but as you can see, this has actually developed since being in that solution. So I've got a nice root there. I've got some roots there and I've got some secondary roots there. So that is going to work really, really well in Lekka now because these roots are water roots. But then I'll show you this section of the plant. Actually, these are originally soil roots. Some of them are soil roots, so you can see this bit here, this is a really thick root. This came from the soil, so did this. Some of these are now new roots. Now, what's happened throughout the course of time as this plant has been sitting in this solution, some of the soil roots have died and they've sloughed off. So I've taken this out of the jar, I've washed it off and washed off the dead roots, put it back in the jar. And now what I've got is roots that are happy to live in a water, water medium. And some of them are actually water roots. And some of the water roots have actually developed secondary roots. So I'm really happy with this cutting. This, well, not, this is not a cutting. Uh, I'm really happy with this plant and how it's transitioned. And this plant is now ready to go into Lekka. I'll show you another cutting that I took from that plant. And look at that. Actually, I think this bit here, was part of the initial soil roots there. But that all looks very nice and lovely. When I tug at them, nothing's pulling out. They're all lovely, lovely water roots that are ready to go into Lekka. So this is an example of what can happen when you put your plant first into a solution 
before you pot it up into Lekka. So it's just a different method. It gives you some added insurance really. So you know that your plant is not going to get as shocked as it would be if you put it straight into the Lekka. So I'll put this plant away because we're not potting up this one today. That is a video for another day. What we will be doing now is just getting all the plants that I've decided to put in the nutrient solution. We will take the soil off, wash off the roots and whack them in the containers and I will show you how I do that. Okay, so let's begin. And of course, gloves, gloves, gloves. We're dealing with soil. So you want to protect yourself. Um, and of course, I've got my potting tarp laid down so that I can collect all my soil in one spot. So I am all gloved up and we'll go down there. I will start with my silver cloud. So as always, we are just nicely squeezing the pot. Grab the plant between my thumb and my fingers like so and slide that off nicely. And of course, just taking as much of the organic matter as we can off. This is as much as I can easily take off, off this silver cloud. I will go and wash it outside and the rest will come off easily with the water. So next I've got my little splendids here. Same thing, just squeeze that little pot and out it comes. And that is easy enough. There we go. So this is all the soil that's come out of all those pots. I will take that outside, throw that outside. I have taken all the plants out of their pots and that's what I've got here. So that's all, I don't know how many there are, quite a few of them. I've taken them out of their pots and taken as much of the organic matter that I could with my hands off being very gentle, not too rough. And I'm now going to take them outside and rinse them off and make sure all the organic matter is off. And then I'll come back inside and show you what those look like. Hello, I am back. Now I will show you what these plants look like with clean roots. So this is one of my splendids and I've cleaned that off. Like I've said before, using water is really the best way of cleaning off roots. Look at what that looks like. Those roots are clean. There's no organic matter and it's ready to go in a hydro environment. Um, the advantages of using water to clean, as apart from cleaning off the roots, of course, is you get a chance to wash off the whole plant as well. So really, I greatly encourage you to do that because, I mean, if there's anything on the plants, if there's any funny pests that are riding along, that gets rid of them super quick. This one is my Cebu Blue here, and that's nicely washed off. And look at that root system. Look at how gorgeous those roots look. They are really, really happy and clean, and it'd be interesting to see how many of those survive in the hydro environment. This one is my caladium. That's my caladium hyla. And look at that, those perfect roots. I love these. You're gonna see what these roots look like when it's done. They're going to be absolutely amazing. Um, I just love, love, hydro roots are just the best. And this is the other splendid that I've got. And roots nice and clean as well. Here is my silver cloud, nice and wet, nice and clean, lots and lots of root. There's actually two plants here, which is really, really good. So that will make for a lovely, lovely pole. Got my fantasy here. This is also two plants, which is fabulous. So I'm just going to put that in the water, root it out nicely and combine it with my other fantasy pole. So 
Singlonium Fantasy over here. And here is my Saudi Roy, last but not least. This one had the most organic matter. It had a lot of bark and it was really, really difficult to get clean. This is the best I could do. Some of those will come off as it sits in that nutrient solution. So not to worry if you've got a few bits left here and there. So now we're going to get to the fun bit. This is my solution that I mixed up earlier. So in this huge five liter bottle is GT Clonex Clone Solution and GT Root Zone. That is what I'm going to use to prime up my, my roots and get them ready for semi-hydro. So I've got some jam jars, simple jam jars. So I use literally anything, you know, pasta sauce bottles, peanut butter bottles, jam bottles, anything. I never throw away those jars because I know I'm gonna use them for propagation. So it's all about recycling, reusing, no waste. So I am going to put, I'll start with my um, Saudi Roy because that's right here. So this one's got a little stake. So thankfully my stake will go in there and the roots will go in there as well. So that goes in my bottle. I'm trying to get the roots all the way down and that's what that looks like. I will do that for all the others. So I've got my fantasy here, I've got my jar for my fantasy. Fantasy roots go in there. I might put a little um, trellis in for that fantasy because it seems a bit sloppy. So I've got a trellis for this fantasy. I'm gonna put that there and I'm just gonna fix that to the trellis. So that is my fantasy and that's going to live in that. Now for my caladium, I've got another jar for my caladium. That will go in there beautifully, caladium. Now, um, I've got my silver clouds, another jar for my silver cloud. That fits in that jar nicely and lives there. And Finally, I've got my Splendids. Those will go in one jar as well. And in my Splendids go. I might need to get a plastic trellis for the Splendids as well. And then of course I have my Cebu Blue. Now, uh, that also goes in there. So I think that one should be fine without a trellis. So I just go grab that trellis. So I now have something like this. So this is my silver cloud. All the organic matter has been taken off. The roots are clean and they are now living in a solution of growth technology, Clonex clone solution and root zone. That's so all the plants now look like that. And that's the roots there, that's the fantasy, that's the fantasy roots there. That is my Saudi Roy, Saudi Roy roots there. Caladium Hilo Beauty, Hilo Beauty roots there. And finally, my Cebu Blue and that's what those roots look like. What I have done with the Cebu Blue as well is I've made cuttings. So in addition to the bottom bit of the plant, I've got this, which I'm, I'm wanting to root. So you'll have the roots coming out of this node and of that node. And I've got this one here. So you can see that area of roots already starting to form. So that's going to root. And I'm going to have three plants that I'm going to put up on my moss pole. So that's what that looks like. So what happens next? I'll have these plants living in this solution for a number of weeks until they develop 
adequate water routes, okay? And what do I mean by adequate water routes? So I want the water routes, the routes that have recently formed to also have roots. So I want secondary routes on the primary water routes. I'll explain this to you next time when we see these plants, then you'll understand exactly what I mean. So what do I do between then and now? So I'll probably have the plants living in this solution for maybe about a week or so, maybe two. It just depends on how busy I am, but you do want to change over this water. If you can do it regularly, yeah, great. But look, it, in my experience, the plant is usually fine, even for a week, after two weeks. Um, do it after a week, depends. But you have to change the water. I know some people, you know, propagate and just put the thing in there and just forget about it, but you can't do that because as the plant is living in that nutrient solution, it's actually absorbing the nutrients. It's using up the oxygen that's in the water and all that needs to be replenished. So you need to change that over. I mean, I know some people top it up, but I like to just take everything out, give it a nice clean, because you've got algae and all sorts of things growing in there as well. So you just wanna make it nice and clean. So just refill that water and, oh, I say water, it's not water, it's nutrient solution. So I've got my five liter bottle here of nutrient solution. That nutrient solution will keep. So I'll just put this in a dark area where it's not exposed to light and it's not degrading and it will be fine for me to use for the next time I have to change over that nutrient solution. So next time we see these plants, roots will be established, water roots will be happy, and we will then pot them up into their Lekka final home. So part two is coming, watch out for it in a few weeks. Thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, and press the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.